welcome to another Mad Hatter review. Uh, it is uh, crazy. There's a hurricane. Watch. Hurricane watch. Hurricane hitting Los Angeles, okay? I left Florida to come to L.A. I thought I was, I, I left uh, hurricanes behind me. I guess not, okay? Because we got to deal with that. There's a tropical storm outside. It's not too bad, okay? For a Florida boy like me, this is nothing. This is walking weather, okay? But it's, uh, uh, it's raining outside, so that means it's a perfect time. To review toys so luckily i got this right from best buy <laughs> the wander michelangelo the wander okay uh now i am not going to um uh profess to know what this is from but i did do some research okay and i am interested in reading this i guess this is from a mirage comic this is not the last ronin okay last ronin comes in different packaging too i guess this is from volume one issue 17 something called distractions and it is um unrelated to ronin it's a standalone story about Mikey traveling in feudal Japan, and that ends up as a story that he is writing where he is the main character, okay? I'd be interested to write, uh, to write, to, to read that. One thing that I do like about collecting uh, this line and uh, learning about things that I didn't know about is uh, I ultimately usually go back and uh, uh, read about it or learn some more info about it. So I am upping my TMNT knowledge game as I get these figures. I got this guy because he looked cool and it's TMNT NECA, so uh, why not? But yeah, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Wanderer right here. And then you got this really cool uh, art here. Uh, this is number, what is this, uh, 12 in the series. And then, oh my God, that is, <laughs> that is badass, okay? I almost, wow. I almost want this uh, as, a, as a poster. Is this the first uh, uh, release unmasked turtle that NECA did? I think it might be, okay? Uh, here's the back, by the way, uh, with all the beautiful photography. And then you get uh, the uh, the cross cell right here. So um, it's raining outside. It's not like I can do anything anyway. So um, let's go ahead and stay indoors, uh, uh, get some coffee, uh, uh, turn on the fireplace, and let's take a look at the review. See you there. All right, we are back. You hear the rain outside? I don't know if you can hear that. The rain and the, the cars sloshing by. Man, it is pouring. So, Michelangelo as uh, the Wanderer. This guy is a badass figure. <laughs> he, he just looks so... Uh, uh, when, when did Michelangelo become, like, the badass? He's got the Ronin. He's got this Wanderer guy. I thought that was reserved for my guy, Raphael. Now Michelangelo's the, the, the dude doing all the badass shit. But uh, here we are. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this guy. I'm going to uh, compare him to the uh, Mirage Brothers that just came out because um, it looks like they're using the same body. Uh, the colors look different, though. It looks like uh, a lot more dark green, and this guy has, like, two-tone in there. I don't know if you can see it. So you got the dark green, and then you got these uh, splotches of, like, light green to highlight everything. And this guy feels like he has... I don't know if he's got more comic book lines, but he, he's definitely in that uh, comic book uh, style right here. Uh, paint on the tunic is really nice. Uh, all throughout it has this uh, texturing, this kind of like dirty uh, texturing on there. And then it has like these like simulated straps. I don't know if I would have um, liked that more than like real straps because that's supposed to strap right here to these uh, scabbards here. But uh, I don't know, maybe real straps might have been cumbersome, but yeah, they just kind of like painted it on. I mean, I don't, I don't mind it. I would have liked to see what like real straps uh, would have looked like. And then he has his uh, wraps right here. Uh, he's got them on his arms. He has them on uh, on the forearms. He's got uh, uh, this piece right here on his palms, and uh, this right here uh, on the legs. He's got the uh, wraps on there too. The paint is nice. Um, I'm, I'm not loving this right here where the joint. Uh, intercedes in the paint. I would have loved if the paint just, uh, if the wraps just kind of went uh, went all over that, but it's nice. It's a very, very nice figure. This face is really cool. He's uh, um, all, just all uh, 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 bruised up and scarred up, and uh, he's got the, uh, the, the white pupils and the eyes. They always look like, <laughs> whenever the turtles are unmasked, it always looks like something is just missing. I mean, obviously something is missing, but they, the masks really, really complete them. You look, there's a little bit of, um, I don't know, it's, it's you, you can kind of see from certain angles that the head is like, it's like a segment line in there, but now I'm just being nitpicky. This is a really nice, uh, this is a really nice figure. And uh, we'll just quickly go through articulation. It's pretty much 
the same articulation as uh, as the brothers uh, from the Mirage pack. So he looks up, looks down, shoulders go about that much because of the tunic. He does have a bicep swivel like the others. Elbows go about that much, hinge, and then the rotation. He does have a rotation on the waist, and then you get the legs that go up that much because of the, uh, the tunic right here. Knees do that. And then you get the foot that uh, goes back about that much and there is a rock. Also remember, this guy's got a little tail, so <laughs> there you go. But uh, yeah, this guy looks badass in any pose you put him in. I mean, look at that. He's just kind of fist up in the air. So uh, yeah, let's go over accessories. He's got these two, uh, I'm gonna get your hands right here. Two grabby hands right there. Nice spear right here with the uh, the tape uh, in the center. Got these two swords that go on his back. Oh my God, where, where am I gonna put all these weapons? I have so many freaking weapons. I know I can kind of put them on a weapons rack or something, but uh, other than putting them in a drawer, does anybody have any creative references on what I could do with the probably now thousands of weapons that I have? Other than create like a money bin, uh, Scrooge McDuck style and just swim in them, I really don't know what to do. There's so many. He's got this thing, uh, this, uh, you know, I always forget the name, but uh, mini scythe is what I'm going to call it. And then these uh, pretty cool nunchucks. They got some nice texture on them. And then uh, it's a uh, rope in the middle. So, haha, -ha, fellow chucker. So there he is next to uh, two of his uh, Mirage brothers. And uh, obviously you can see that it, he is a uh, much darker green. And uh, if when you first saw this guy announced, you were thinking what I'm thinking, I'm going to try this now. Wah, wah. Okay, no go. <laughs> it... Uh, it doesn't fit because of the scabbard here. And if you're asking if this comes off, uh, I don't know. It's uh, It feels like it's almost glued on there. I don't want to force this because there's no give and there's no, uh, there's nothing that it says that uh, I can pull this off. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Wander. You don't get the head covering. This thing won't, um, it doesn't, doesn't fit right here. It doesn't fit in the center. I mean, I mean, you could get it that much, but that doesn't, that doesn't make the grade, uh, as you see. So uh, Raphael is gonna have to uh, keep uh, keep wearing that. Let me know if anybody pulled this off because um, I certainly I certainly can't, and I don't want to mess with it. That is my review of the Wanderer. Very cool figure, very badass figure. Okay, even if you don't know the lore, why don't you give it a try? 30, 35 bucks, I think you get it at Best Buy. I don't think you do get it at Best Buy. Uh, and I will put in a link in the description if they are still available. And uh, yeah, perfect example of uh, uh, a character that I do not know or I'm not familiar with in terms of lore, but uh, I'll get it anyway, just because he's so badass. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, that has been the review of The Wander. Uh, I wish I could put that song, The Wander, on, uh, <laughs> on the next uh, photos that are about to come up, but uh, I don't want to get a copyright strike. So just imagine that song, you know, The, the Wander, they call me, the, you, you know the song, okay? Uh, that is all. Bye-bye.